The prologue. Two households, both alike in dignity, in fair Verona where we lay our scene. From ancient grudge break to new mutiny, where civil blood makes civil hands unclean. From forth the fatal loins of these two foes, a pair of star-crossed lovers take their life. Whose misadventured piteous overthrows doth with their death bury their parents' strife. The fearful passage of their death-marked love and the continuance of their parents' rage, which, but their children's end, naught could remove, is now the ten minutes' traffic of our stage, the which, if you with patient ears attend, what here shall miss, our toil shall strive to mend. By my hill, I cannot. Good evening, gentlemen. A word with one of you. And but one word with us. Couple with something. Make it a word in a blow. You shall find me apt enough to that, sir, for you'll give me occasion. Could you not take some occasion without giving? Mercutio, thou consortest with Romeo. Consort? What dost thou make us minstrels? And thou make minstrels of us. Look to hear, nothing but discords. Here is my fiddlestick, here is that shall make you dance. Zounds consort. We talk here in the public haunt of men. Either withdraw into some private place, or reason coldly of your grievances, or else depart. Here all eyes gaze on us. Men's eyes were made to look. Let them gaze on us. I will know, I will budge for no man's pleasure. Peace with you, sir. Here comes my man. Romeo, the love that I bear thee can afford no better term than this. Thou art a villain. Tybalt, the reason that I have to love thee doth excuse the appertaining rage of such a greeting. Villain? I am not. Therefore, farewell. I see thou knowest me not. Boy, this will not excuse the injuries thou hast done me. Therefore, turn and draw. Oh, calm this arm of our submission. Tybalt, you rat catcher, will you walk? Oh, what does thou have with me? Good king of cats, nothing but one of your nine lives. I am for you. Tibbles, recuse you. The prince expressly has forbid his bad for on the streets. Away, Tibbles. Benvolio, help me into some house, or I shall faint. Oh, plague both your houses. They have made worms meet of me. Your houses. Oh, Romeo, Romeo, brave Mercutio is dead. Alive in triumph? And Mercutio slain? Now, Tybalt, take the villain back again that late thou gavest me. For Mercutio's soul is but a little way above our heads, staying thine to keep him company. Either thou, I, or both must go with him. Thou wretched boy that didst consort him here, shout with him hence. This shall determine that. And for that offense, immediately, we do exile him hence.
Call this a lightning. Oh my love. My wife. Death. That hast tucked the honey of thy breast. Hast no power yet upon thy beauty. Thou art not conquered. Here. It's too much true love. Our true apothecary is how drugs are quick. Last one to kiss. I die. What's this? A cup closed my true love's hand? Poison, I see. Hath been his time with them. Oh, true. Drink all and left no friendly drops felt me after. You noise? Then I'll be brief. Oh, happy dagger, this is thy sheath. The rust and let me die. See what a scourge is laid upon your hate, that heaven finds means to kill your joys with love. All are punished. A glooming peace this morning with it brings, the sun for sorrow will not show his head. Go hence to have more talk of these sad things, some shall be pardoned and some shall be punished. For never was there a story of more woe than this of Juliet and her Romeo.